All right. Okay. I can be down there in like a half hour. But what's the problem? This you're not going to believe. Oh. The New York Public Library uh -huh. says that I took out Tropic of Cancer in 1971 <laughs> and never returned it. Do you know how much that comes to? That's a nickel a day for 20 years. It's going to be $50,000. It doesn't work like that. No, if it's a dime a day, it could be 100000 It's not going to be anything. I returned the book. I remember it very vividly because I was with Sherry Becker. She wore this orange dress. It's the first time I ever saw her in a dress like that. I'd known her since ninth grade, and she was developing this body in secret under these loose clothes for like two years. And then one day, this orange dress is burned in my memory. Ooh, memory burn. I wonder what happened to her. How did they find you? Oh, computers. They're cracking down now on overdue books. The whole thing's completely ridiculous. Yeah, I called before. I got this notice in the mail. Oh, Tropic of Cancer, Henry Miller. Uh, this case has been turned over to our library investigations officer, Mr. Bookman. Bookman? The library investigator's name is actually Bookman? <laughs> it's true. That's amazing. That's like an ice cream man named Cone. Well, Lieutenant Bookman's been working here for 25 years, so I think he's heard all the jokes. Can I speak with this Bookman? Mr. Bookman's not here. Not here? Why was I told to come down here? He'll be out all afternoon on a case. He's out on a case? He actually goes out on cases? <laughs> well, what am I supposed to do now? I'll have Mr. Bookman get in touch with you. All right, thanks. Well, I'm glad you're here so we can get this all straightened out. Would you like a cup of tea? You got any coffee? Coffee? Yeah, coffee. No, I don't drink coffee. Yeah, you don't drink coffee? How about instant coffee? No, I don't have... You don't have any instant coffee? Well, I don't normally... Who doesn't have instant coffee? I don't. You buy a jar of Folgers crystals, you put it in a cupboard, you forget about it. And later on, when you need it, it's there. It lasts forever. It's freeze-dried. Freeze-dried crystals. Really? I'll have to remember that. You took this book out in 1971. Yes, and I returned it in 1971. Yeah, 71. That was my first year on the job. Bad year for libraries. Bad year for America. Hippies burning library cards. Abby Huffman telling everybody to steal books. I don't judge a man by the length of his hair, the kind of music he listens to. Rock was never my bag. But you put on a pair of shoes when you walk into the New York Public Library, fella. Look, Mr. Bookman. <laughs> I, I returned that book. I remember it very specifically. You're a comedian. You make people laugh. I try. You think this is all a big joke, don't you? <laughs> no, I don't. I saw you on TV once. I remembered your name from my list. I looked it up. Sure enough, it checked out. You think because you're a celebrity that somehow the law doesn't apply to you, that you're above the law? Certainly not. Well, let me tell you something funny, boy. <laughs> you know that little stamp? The one that says New York Public Library? Well, that may not mean anything to you, but that means a lot to me. One whole hell of a lot. Sure, go ahead. Laugh if you want to. I've seen your type before. Flashy, making the scene, flaunting convention. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. What's this guy making such a big stink about old library books? Well, let me give you a hint, Junior. Maybe we can live without libraries, people like you and me. Maybe. Sure, we're too old to change the world. But what about that kid sitting down, opening a book right now in a branch of the local library and finding drawings of peepees and wee-wees and the cat in the hat and the five Chinese brothers? Doesn't he deserve better? Look, if you think this is about overdue fines and missing books, you better think again. This is about that kid's right to read a book without getting his mind warped. Or maybe that turns you on, Seinfeld. Maybe that's how you get your kicks. You and your good time buddies. Well, I got a flash for you, joy boy. Party time is over. You got seven days, Seinfeld. That is one week. I hope there's no hard feelings. Hard feelings? What do you know about hard feelings? <laughs> you ever have a man die in your arms? You ever kill somebody? What is your problem? What's my problem? Punks like you, that's my problem. <laughs> and you better not screw up again, Seinfeld, because if you do, I'll be all over you like a pit bull on a poodle. <laughs> that is one tough monkey. <laughs> 